What's up everybody, TaxBruction7 here, and as you all know, Minecraft has updated to 1.2.4, and as usual, I will restart on all of the mod tutorials. I know this, this update from 1.2.3 didn't last all that long, usually it lasts about like a month and a half, so I was only able to create, I think, 21 mod tutorials for 1.2.3, but uh, again, I will still restart because a lot of times people will just disregard the whole tutorial if they see that it is for a later version even though the tutorial usually works the same way so besides all that this will be on the too many items mod since this is always the first mod to be updated to the new versions of minecraft so let me go ahead and log in my world here and i will show you how to use this mod so it doesn't change how minecraft looks or anything like that but it does change your inventory so if you hit E to open up your inventory, you can see we have all of the items in Minecraft as well as the new uh, decoration blocks and all of that sort of stuff like we have the different wooden planks here now. And um, yeah, so it does add all of the new items and everything so you'll still have all that good stuff. But um, to select items, if you go ahead and just click on say I want some stone, if I, if I left click it, it'll give me 64 if I right click it'll give me one if I hold shift and then click on it it'll give me hundred and eleven which will be um, infinite and you can see up here we do have delete mode and I can go ahead and click on these to delete it now if I go ahead and give myself a whole bunch of items and I can save it to this one and then go ahead and delete all this and now go ahead and click on load one and it'll load all the items back now we also have creative mode so if you turn on creative mode you can see it changes it to creative mode and this will allow you to destroy blocks with one hit and you'll also be able to fly by double tapping space so you can have both survival and creative mode in one world go ahead and turn creative mode off you can also turn the rain on and off so if it's not raining and you turn the rain on the rain it'll start raining but if it's raining already and you turn this off it will stop raining as you can see it lightens up here and there's no more rain you can also change it to sunrise so the sun will be rising over there now you can change it to noon so the sun will be directly above us change it to sunset so the sun will be setting over there and then we can change it to midnight so it will be midnight and it will be up above the moon will be in the middle of the sky now if you don't want to have too many items showing say you're doing a let's play or something like that and you don't want to use it all you have to do is simply hit O and it'll toggle it off and you won't be able to see it hit O again to bring it back so that is the too many items mod I now need to clean out my minecraft jar after I do that I'll be back and I'll show you how to install okay so what you need to install this mod is some sort of archiving program such as WinRAR, 7-Zip or WinZip all these archiving programs work the same way so you can use whatever you prefer I will be using WinRAR in this tutorial and then the only thing you're gonna need to download is the too many items mod itself so to download too many items I'll go ahead and give you the link to this page in the description if you go ahead and scroll down here's a whole bunch of information on the mod um, how to set it up for servers and all that good stuff but to download it you want to go and come down to download for minecraft 1.2.4 Go ahead and click on this link and it'll take us over to an ad fly and it'll say please wait five seconds up in the top right hand corner. After that five seconds is up a yellow button saying skip ad will appear. Go ahead and click on skip ad and it will automatically download the mod. So that is how to download the mod. So when you're ready to install it go ahead and come over to start then type in percent app data percent just like this down here in the bottom left hand corner. Then go ahead and open up your roaming, open your dot minecraft, open your bin left click your minecraft jar then right click it and do open with and select whatever archiving program you're using I'm using WinRAR so I'm going ahead and open it with WinRAR now your bin you're not going to need open anymore so you can go ahead and just close that so once you have your minecraft jar open go ahead and open up too many items highlight all of these class files and drag them into your minecraft jar and hit ok go ahead and close too many items now in your minecraft jar you should see a folder called metainf if you do not see this folder that is okay you can go ahead and just skip this step but if you do see it you want to delete it so go ahead and left click it then right click it select delete files then hit yes and that will delete metainf you want to make sure you always delete metainf when you're installing a mod to minecraft if you don't it'll make minecraft crash so after you delete metainf you can go ahead and, clo you can go ahead and close your minecraft jar 
and that is it. You're done installing the mod. So it's a very inst very simple installation for the Tumanianas mod. I hope this video helped you guys out. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time.